Hello students, we start with the life cycle diatom part 2. Now we talk about reproduction. Diatoms reproduce vegetatively and sexually. That is, asexual reproduction is completely absent in diatoms. Vegetative reproduction takes place by cell division. Some people call it as binary fission. And sexual reproduction takes place by the formation of a special type of spore called oxospore. The cell division or binary fission. Please observe the cells already drawn in the diagram. You can see epitheca and hypotheca. It is diagrammatic representation, hand-drawn diagrams. The, it occurs during night and it's fairly rapid and increase in the cell size takes place before the division. It is followed by the mitotic division of the nucleus. You can see here the nuclear division taking place. The nucleus divided into two. Karyokinesis results in the formation of two nuclei. It is followed by the cytokinesis. It, it should follow by the cytokinesis, but the two get separated. The epitheca and the hypotheca get separated with one nucleus each and other side without any cell, without any theca. Each theca produces its or makes its or excretes a new valve, which is hypotheca in both the cases. So what happens in which the epitheca of the parent is carried forward, that size remains same. Whereas the one in which the hypotheca now became the epitheca, which is a smaller one, it is called, it becomes small and as the divisions proceed, the cells, cell size reduces and reduces. It stops at that time, the binary fission or the cell division does not take place any further. When it gets reduced, the diatom cell undergoes sexual reproduction. A sexual reproduction takes place by the formation of a special type of spore called oxospore. As a result of repeated cell division, most of the diatom cells progressively become reduced in size. The size is made up back by undergoing sexual reproduction and formation of oxospore. Oxospore means growth spore. It may be formed parthenogenetically also. The octospore is surrounded by a two-piece wall layer called perizonium, which may be smooth or may be ornamented. It may be formed of pectic substances, of inner layers of the cells, or from protoplasmic excretions of the zygote. Yes, in sexual reproduction, octospore formation takes place. But sexual, sexual reproduction is of so many types, isogamy, anisogamy, oogamy, and autogamy. The vegetative cells are deployed and meiosis occurs before the formation of gametes. It is different in pinnate and centric diatoms. Oxospore formation by isogamy, anisogamy, and oogamy. In isogamy, the male gametes and female gametes are of same size. In anisogamy, one of the gametes is bigger in size as compared to the other, whereas in oogamy, the female gamete remains inside the uh, female uh, inside the uh, uh, pistule only and it gets fertilized by the male gamete which becomes amoeboid or motile. So we have two conditions one oxospore formation from two cells or two oxospores from two cells whatever the case. So we have two cell of diatom which have got reduced in size after cell division or binary fission, what you call it. So the two come close by, lie side by side, get enveloped by the, their mucilaginous secretion. After some time, the nuclei inside, it's the sporophytic cell. It is a diploid nucleus. It undergoes meiosis in each cell and produces four nuclei. They are haploid, but natural. And out of the four, three degenerate and two fuse to give rise to a zygote. And a zygote secretes a two-piece wall layer around it called perizonium and now it becomes the oxospore. The mucilage gets removed and the oxospore comes out and secretes frustules inside and, uh, uh, and this uh, it can perinate uh, adverse environmental conditions and when it germinates the, the oxospore is the uh, oxospore germinates 
to give rise to an individual diatom cell which regains its which is of the same size of the parent cell the, the size is made good by formation of oxospore and germination of oxospore and one oxospore is formed one uh, uh, one uh, diatom cell is formed from two uh, uh, two cells in another case after the four haploid cells which are formed the two cells come again side by side side by side they are reduced the size is reduced as a result of cell division or binary fission they come to lie side by side the mucilaginous envelope is formed and each cell has one nucleus which is deployed sporophytic it undergoes meiosis produces four in each four nuclei in each all the four are haploid all the eight rather i should say are haploid and four form the male gametes four form the female gametes and they are they the, the lid opens and they come out if isogamy the gametes will be of same size so what happens out of the four now in the first case three degenerated but here two only degenerate and two fuse to give rise to two oxospores inside the perizoneum the layers rupture or they are lost and ultimately frustules are secreted two frustules inside the perizoneum are secreted and we get two cells from uh, the oxospore germinates and give rise to two frustules or two uh, diatom cells. That was oxospore formation by isogamy and an isogamy, and I also explained oogamy, but I'll separately here discuss how oxospore formation takes place by oogamy. The vegetative cells get modified to form oogonia and spermatogonia, the same cells. Okay, they lie side by side, up close by, same. A single cell develops in an ogonia, while a number of spermatocytes develop in the spermatogonia. Now, one single cell, one single nucleus, the egg develops in ogonium is uh, the nucleus which is sporophytic, undergoes meiosis, produces four nuclei. Out of the four, three degenerate, and only one is functional and behaves as the egg or the female gamete. So this is ogonium. Now, what happens in the spermatogonium? the male uh, sex organ uh, the number of uh, the as a result of meiosis from one single sporophytic nucleus four nuclei are formed which are haploid they undergo plenty of uh, mitotic divisions and give rise to lot many uh, male gametes or we call them as spermatozoids these spermatozoids again the lid opens and they come out and move in in search of ogonium lot many uh, ugo, the spermato spermatozoids uh, 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 surround the ugonium and only one fuses with a uh, single egg and gives rise to a zygote then again zygote forms oxospore and oxospore germinates to give rise to an individual uh, diatom cell and of the parent size so again we can regain the cells can regain the size back Children in diatoms, oxospore formation takes place by autogamy. It's uh, it's a different uh, uh, type of reproduction. So the nucleus of the mucilage envelope single cell, only one single cell participates in this. The nucleus divides, it is deployed, it divides meiotically to form four haploid nuclei. Out of the four nuclei, two degenerate and the remaining two they behave as male and female gametes and they fuse to give rise to a zygote which later develops into oxospore and again germinates to give rise to a diploid diatom cell. Oxospore formation takes place by apogamy, so no sexual production takes place here. Uh, you'll get surprised. Oxospore formation is not preceded by sexual reproduction. The protoplast comes out of the frustule and directly develops into an oxospore. Just imagine the diatom cell single. The lid opens, the nucleus comes out and it secretes, it behaves as a zygote and secretes two piece wall layer around it and it be, and again makes an oxospore. So this is oxospore formation by apogam. So as per your syllabus, you are su supposed to study uh, uh, sexual reproduction and life cycle of pinnate diatoms. And now we talk about oxospore formation in centric diatoms. 
in centric diatoms generally isogamian and isogamy are absent so it they do it doesn't take place sexual reproduction takes place either by autogamy or by oogamy in centrales the fusion of flagellated spermatozoid take place with a non motile egg that is oogamy you know it already now we have another special type of a spore formation in diatoms which does not take place in pineals it takes place only in centrales the centric diatoms the radial mark markings are there so we have the radial symmetry is there these are also called as resting spores or cysts or endospores and are meant for pollination statospores are generally absent in pinea diatoms i told you already these are only produced by centric diatoms the resulting spores are generally smaller than the respective vegetative cell so we call them statospores they germinate to give rise to they can tide over unfavorable conditions they germinate to give rise to a new diatom cell now we talk about life cycle alternation of generation uh, it is hand drawn uh, graphic life cycle of diatom you can observe it diatom cell is deployed it reproduces vegetatively there is no asexual reproduction in this it is cell division or binary fission or parthenogenetically also it produces it uh, again uh, gives rise to the diatom cell which is deployed so it's vegetative reproduction now we talk about the sexual reproduction now diatom cell it is deployed to an it gives rise to male uh, gametes which are haploid as a result of meiosis and male gametes which are female gametes which are haploid the two fuse to give rise to a zygote the two uh, zygote secrete two piece wall layer around it and it becomes oxospore it is deployed and you will see that this diploid oxospore germinates to give rise to an individual sporophytic diploid diatom cell so diplontic type of life cycle is observed in diatom cells can you see here the the, the, the uh, gametophytic generation is represented only by gametes and it these are short lived they generally fuse fast after formation and give rise to a zygote zygote immediately secretes two piece wall uh, layer around it and it gives rise to an oxospore oxospore contains diploid nucleus so diatom cell is deployed zygote is deployed oxospore is deployed so you can say that it is a diplontic type of life cycle which is observed in diatom cell oxospore containing diploid nucleus develops into an individual diploid diatom cell this way the life cycle takes place in um, diatom cell in the end i would like to thank you all of you for patiently listening please like it subscribe it and share it thank you